on YouTube, it's your boy, the Memphis Accelerator Alto, welcoming you back to check this out. The show, we take a look, whatever tech we want to take a look at and have ourselves a damn old good time with it. And today, we're taking a look at a good old grandpa card, a card from ye olden days. We got ourselves the King Targa Wanhu lockdown. We're trying to turbo out the Wanhu and start denying our opponents all their little monsters, all the building blocks to make their bigger monsters. We take it all away from our opponent. We're like a bully in a, in a preschool. That's what we're doing. We're bullying toddlers by destroying all small monsters. So we got a Wan Hu. We got ourselves the new cards to go with him, like Mong Hu, who helps support my boy. We got ourselves Dogmatica, for reasons I'll explain. And we also have the Verna Silps, which are our mainstay for this one. As they allow me to get things set up, let me get some uh, additional strategies a-rolling. We got some protection in there, some, you know, some setup of the graveyard. Some more protection. It, it's a th it's a thing that you have to see it for, to truly understand it. So we're gonna go into EDO Pro, the Wild West of Yu-Gi-Oh, as I call it. I'm gonna duel with this deck a few times. We're gonna show off what you do and what you don't do with it. And with any luck, we'll run into a bunch of combo players, and we'll be able to just make them all cry. That's that's the hope and the dream with this deck. It's mildly trolly, but it's a good kind of trolling. It's not like Floodgates. It's Wan Who, who's a tiger, not a Floodgate. So. Let's go into good old EDO Pro, show off this deck, show you how it works. I'll have ourselves a good time. We'll go. All righty, our first opponent, another day, another card game, and we want to go first as often as humanly possible. It's what we like to do. So we're going to get to go first, and what do we get to have? A lot of Dogmatica. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I do have the Dogmatica. She's part of an engine to help me thin deck and give me additional stuff. It's mostly... Searching, you know, my punishment, but, you know, if, if the game wants to give me all the punishment already. Uh, maybe that's a sign? I don't know, maybe. But, you know, we'll start with our Ecclesia the Virtuous. We'll set some cards, and we'll see where this goes, I suppose. I mean, there's many ways this can go. I mean, I've got a punishment to blow stuff up. I've got a compulse to bounce some stuff. I've got a call if he tries to hand things. So... This could go any number of ways. All I really want to do, though, is get into my Taiga. That's the idea of this deck. We get your Wanhu, your Monghu, you get your Verna Silphs into rotation. And there's some pretty interesting boards this deck can make. You know, the Verna Silphs are an interesting bunch. You know, you discard them in another monster to do a thing. Some of them search, some of them do various other little things. Uh, but the point is, they all can revive Earths from the grave. So if you, so if you have the Tigers in rotation, then everything's good. Um, so that's a quick effect. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not, I can read. Thank you. I can read. Uh, so this is some kind of Horus deck. I see. Zombie whores. I see. Zombified prostitutes. That's what it's called. I don't know where that joke came from, but just trust me. Trust me. All right, so this guy is playing his Horus deck. That's cool and all. Uh, okay, well, wait. What does it do? Uh, let's see. You send two cards from Hand of the Grave, including this card. Add Pharaonic Sarcophagus. Okay. I mean, that's cool and all, I suppose. Let's... Let's see. 3,000. That is pretty big. Let's... Compulse this one. Can he do that more than... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he can just do that as many times as he wants. But can he revive them as many times as he wants? That's what I want to know. I don't think he can. So that should have a save for at least a turn. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, look who decided to show up. It's our good friend, the Tiger. Tony the Tiger, they call him. All right. So at the very least, I have a Tiger. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead into the phase where we start punching our opponent with a hammer and a Tiger. Have a please your ride, Wanhu. That'd be cool. What is this? Oh. Okay, that doesn't do anything to me yet. Maybe later that would do something, but uh, not at the moment. Nice tech, though. Nice tech with the whole, like, milling me out thing. I get, uh, Against some decks, that would be really good. My deck does special summon. But because I actually like Grave Setup, that's not that bad. And let's see. Set a card. Pass. We're good. For now, we're good. So we're just going to wait for him to, like, discard stuff. And then we're going to hit him with a call. 
I think. Let's see. That's the three K. That's the three K. Yeah, that's the three K guy. We're gonna get rid of him. We're gonna just say no to this guy. Does he still get to sit? I think he still gets the digit card. Or does he? Yes, he does. Uh, luckily, though, it's the small one. <laughs> See, if I had Mogu, though, that'd be so much better, but I don't. That's a sad thing. I don't have Mogu. That's kind of the idea. You get Mogu, he weakens everybody by 500. And Wong Hu, I haven't even explained Wong Hu yet. Basically, how he works is anything that's too small summoned to the board, 1,400 or less, is automatically destroyed. Works on both players, but... Didn't even need the full combo. This is an interesting combination of cards, but not a match for what we've got. We've got the power of punishment to punish our opponents and Wong Hu to deny the building blocks. So, and I also have a floor to Lee if I ever actually needed it, but I didn't. So, proof of concept for a duel, but I'd like to see the furnace selves next and for the rest of the episode because that's really the that's the meat of this deck is the furnace self combos. So, let's go for duel two. Show off more what this deck can do. Get some Verna Sylphs, a planted, and a growing. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to get to go first again. And this time, uh, it's not a great opening hand. Oh, well, technically. Okay, hold on. Hmm. I'm thinking about this one. It's not a great opening hand, but maybe. Okay, so what we're going to do. We're going to play Foolish Burial. That's going to send our Tiger King to the graveyard. I'm the original Tiger King, by the way. And we're going to go ahead and use our Verna Sylph here. We're going to discard a couple cards, send Mohu to the grave, and then we're going to bring back Ting Tiger in defense, just in case Lightning Storm, but I doubt it. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and Reborn D-Monster and bring back Mogu. So, <laughs> the Bruin Sills helped a little bit, but that, that wasn't full combo. That was not full combo. It really starts with, like, the Fairy and other things, but, you know, there's a combo that leads into having, like, a nice defensive wall on top of having Wong Hu and Mogu when you get all, all set up. It's a little convoluted at times, but when it works, it works. And look, he summoned a small monster. It's automatically destroyed. Anything small summoned will not fit in the realm of the Wanhu. It's survival of the fittest here. And Wanhu, you know, Moku's technically bigger, if you think about it. What does this do? Math mech subtraction. I see. So this is a math mech deck? I guess. I guess that's what this is. Does it matter, though? Because all your monsters are just, like, lining up. I'm just going, whoo! <laughs> Oh. oh, yes, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Somebody needing all the little baby monsters to make something bigger, running headlong into Tiger. Exactly what we wanted to see. Perfect. All right. Well, that might have been a quickie, but it was a goodie, too. We, we showed exactly what Wanhu's about. Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! can shove it. Grandpa Tiger is still around. All right, let's go for third opponent. All righty, third opponent. Fighting third. Feeling good, because so far it's been going good. You know, built this deck yesterday. I was planning to show it yesterday. It was not working yesterday. Partly because it just doesn't work, and partly because everyone was playing, like, big beat sticks monsters. So, gave it a day. Worked on the deck a little bit more, and it's working a lot better. We haven't seen the Verna Silks too much yet, but they're, they're, they're there. If we don't see them today, I'll just show the combo afterwards. But you, you get the idea. Come on, Verna Silphs. Okay, Verna Silphies. Not bad at all. So what we're going to do here, we don't have a lot. We don't have a lot, but we have the starting building blocks. We got our fairy. Fairy is the most important. She gets Corolla. Let me explain Corolla. Corolla, also fairy, summons herself back because she's just absolutely amazing. Uh, Corolla is a nice spell. It does two things. Number one, it makes all monsters Verna Silph monsters. This is important because our fairy protects all Verna Sylphs. Number two, I can once per turn use a Verna Sylph without needing to discard another monster. Now, I can't revive what I ditch because I'm using this specific monster, but, you know, that's the, that's the trade-off you need to do. For now, though, we'll send Wan Hu 
So we get our boss monster prepared. Now all I need is another Vernaself monster. Anybody but, well, actually, even this guy. I'll take any Vernaself monster, and we're good. So, you know, you understand what I'm going with, with this, right? Imagine, if you will, slightly different situation. If I had started with um, Foolish Burial and gotten my Wanhu in the grave early, I would have had Wanhu on the board. I would have had Burden of the Mighty. Just forget Compulse. We didn't need Compulse. We needed Foolish Burial. And we would have had Wanhu treated as a Vernacell, indestructible by card effects, on top of everything else. It would have been beautiful. It would have been very pretty. So, what is our opponent playing? Don't know yet. Tricksters! I see. Trickstars, you say. Fascinating, indeed. I mean, I don't have enough cards to make your your trap worth it, but there you go. So, we're up against some good old-fashioned tricksters. An annoying bunch to be certain, but now that I don't have a hand to speak of, you know, their, their ultimate combo doesn't really do much to me, does it? And my monsters are bigger than his. Not just because of stuff, but because of other stuff. Uh, I forget. Is this a quickie? I don't remember. I probably should have bounced my own stuff. I just don't want him to log my stuff. I had to use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. That's what I had the options of. So, there you go. Okay. So, he has Candina. He has a bunch of set cards. He has a lot of set cards. What are we going to draw into? Okay. Um... Oof. Oh, don't go breaking my heart, girl. Okay. Don't go breaking my heart. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't if I tried. I'm going way too... I'm way too happy about this, but there you go. We've got our boy, Juan. Woo! That's not going to work. Good effort, though. I appreciate the effort. But uh, you can choke on it. You can choke on it. Let's see. Uh, would I like to double the attack of Wan Hu? Yes, I would. I'd love to double the attack of Wan Hu because he's a Vern Self monster. Yes. 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 There you go. Okay. So we'll take out the trickster. I think I'm big enough. Oh, wait. He has a hand trap. I forgot. I, for I forgot he actually owns a hand trap, but it doesn't matter. It don't matter because we should be, in theory, good. Trickstars need monsters to live. Although I don't have my targeted protection, so screw everything I was thinking about. Uh, okay, there you go. Well. Well, there goes everything I was going to do. Well, sheesh. It, it's funny because there is a Vernasilf monster. I feel so dumb. If I had just done that a little differently, it would have gone entirely differently. Because I, I should have bounced this. Should have bounced this dude, because then I... Well, no, it wouldn't have mattered too much. Because there is a Vernasilf that protects you from targeted effects. But I do have it at the moment. And even if I did use this guy, I couldn't revive that monster. So it wouldn't really wouldn't have mattered. It really wouldn't have mattered. So I'm pretty sure I just kind of lose here. I did not gain control. I, I had a nice start to gaining control. I did some damage. I did some damage. I had my tiger. I had my setup. He just had that mother flipping imperm. He had mother flipping imperm, and that's uh, kind of how it goes. Although. If I draw a level 4, maybe. Because I can make Baguska and then ram into a monster and then make Zeus and then wipe the board, which is not not the coolest thing to do to somebody, but I'm up against Trickster, so, you know, anything goes, basically. But I don't think that's going to be happening because, yeah. Are you going to hit me with your trap now? No, I don't think he's going to hit me with a trap card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I lose this one on... Let me think. What's the defense of this creature? It's only 1,200. Um... You know what? Screw it, I guess. I mean, if I'm going to lose regardless, I'm taking this lady out with me. On a hot date. Or... Maybe I'm not doing jack... I shot my shot and I lost. Oh, okay. 
Alright, well, we rolled it. We rolled the first two duels pretty damn high. Unfortunately, I think we're about to die. So, I'm gonna call this one a loss. I don't think I can come back from this. If I only had that damn rabbit, I could have won for sure, because I would have been immune to that infirm. But I didn't. And that's just how it is sometimes. So, we take a loss. Let's go for one more duel, though, because I want I to I show the deck off more. You know, we, we've seen the deck winning. We've seen the deck doing its thing. You've seen the Vernisil combo that lets me have defense against most things, not everything, but most things. So, let's go for one more duel, and we'll show off the Tiger just a little bit more. Alrighty, everybody, the fourth and final opponent, last chance for Romance, and it's been a good day overall. We're showing off the cards, we're showing off the combos, we're getting to go first more often than not, I'm happy with it. And we have a lot of Verna Silks in the hand. So, let me think about this. Who do I want? I kind of want a lot of things, but... Okay. We're going to go ahead and use Verna Silphy. Do our usual shtick. Have ourselves a nice little defense. We don't have a lot in terms of, like, stopping power, but, you know, it's something. It's something. Actually, I just realized that the bunny will not work the way I had kind of hoped it would. I can summon uh, Rabbit. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ditch the Rabbit. The Rabbit gets me the bear. And then the Rabbit summons itself. That way I have... You know, I can't be targeted or destroyed by stuff. And I have a decent enough defense along with Burden so I can at least conceivably survive. All I really need to do is get a tiger on the board. That's kind of the big thing. You know, originally I had this idea with this deck, which was revolving around Wanhu and Tide to the Brethren, which might have worked. It had some weird, like, issue. I forget what, what was wrong with it. When I was trying to combine it with Gazelle and the new, like, the, the Chimera cards, you know, Chimera Fusion, all that stuff, which is something I wanted to do, but I don't know. I really didn't care for Chimera Fusion monsters, except for, like, the the old one that can, like, blow stuff up. That one was okay, but the rest of it was just kind of like, meh. This, I feel like, is a little more interesting and a little bit more solid of a deck. So that, that's why this one won out over doing any of that stuff. So, yeah, we've, we've got ourselves our Verna Silk Defense pretty solidly defended. Uh, I don't know what my opponent's playing yet, because he hasn't he hasn't done anything. Hopefully he does something. I mean, I'd like it if my opponent did something. I don't want my opponent to just do nothing, and then I win. Because that's not really much of a win. But, you know, we've we got to set up. We'll see what this goes. I would love to draw either Tiger. I'll take Monhu. I'd rather have Wanhu, but I'll, I'll take either Tiger. I'll take either Tiger by the tail, that's for certain. And we'll see where this goes. I do need to have I need to have something. That's the thing. I do need to have something. Okay, my opponent will now do something. Okay. Used up quite a bit of his timer to think about the standby phase there, but okay. What you gonna do, boyo? Pretty basic deck. Dark magic. It's always dark magicians, isn't it? It is always dark magicians. Every single time. All right, Dark Magicians at it again. They're here to do the same thing they always do. I shouldn't really complain. My deck does the same. My deck wants to do the same thing every time. It doesn't all the time, but it does try it. All right. So, Illusion of Coas. Doing its thing. Gonna get the rod, I presume, or this thing. Okay. All right, we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. We'll see. Say, ditch the Dark Magician. Summon the Soul. Okay, we'll probably... Uh, no, he's got he's to summon the Dark Magician. Okay. He's going to summon Dark Magician. He's going to try to banish my stuff. Yep. All right, well, if you're going to target it, I'm going to use it. That's just how it goes, brother. That's just how it goes. Back to the hand with you. All right. All right. Whoa! Excuse me? No. No. 
You feed. You turn them into a chimera. The irony that I have that exact card. Ah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me, too, but probably not. So what did you discard? Okay, just discard the magician. Okay, well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. That sucks even more, kind of. In a sense, sort of. Uh, okay, so you're 2,000. All right. Well, this... If I get Mogu, this will be good, because I can just nuke the board. Did I mention Mogu can destroy all monsters that are weaker than himself? Because he can. It's uh, it's an interesting thing. I, I really wish he special summoned instead, but that's just that's just me. But regardless, he does have that effect, so maybe. Maybe if I, like, draw Moku, that'd be awesome. What do we got? Darky Dark Charmer. Okay. Dark Dark the Dark Charmer. Please don't tell me you drew into Eternal Soul, or even worse, Magicalized Fusion. I already know where this is going, and I think I've lost. If it's what I think it, yeah. Ha 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 ha. We started so damn good today. And now this nonsensical nonsense. I don't. I Unless I had top decked into Mogu, that wasn't going to work. So I. Yeah, he's just going to be no fun allowed, guy. He's going to be one of those no fun allowed folks, not allowed to have fun. So, yeah, I needed Moku. Oh, wait, I'm not lost yet, but I'm pretty damn close to losing. Plus, if I use Compulse, I will lose. That's the problem. Okay. <sighs> See, the problem is if I play Compulse, he'll negate Compulse, and then I just lose, because this will be, like, too big for me to stop it. Okay. I need a Tiger. I need Moku. If I can get Moku, I can normal summon it. This will lose 500 attack points. So, Mogu can do something. Damn it! That doesn't help. Alright, well, it looks like I lose this duel. Well, that's a shame and a half. We started really damn good. Unfortunately, well, this is just stupid. Dark Magician player, stop using this card. It's bad. Play something else, damn it. You have plenty of fusions. You don't need this thing to crutch on no more. Okay, my, a little salty there. Okay, I'm trying to do something old and old and sexy, but my opponents won't let me do stuff. Look, I can do something that won't affect him, and he'll still negate it. He'll still negate this, because that's what they do. Alrighty, everybody, so King Tiger Wan Hu Lock of 2023 went 2 out of 2, which is respectable. It works. Like I said, this deck, it takes some setup. You go first with it, you have a very good chance of, like, getting yourself going. And as you can see, it's not that hard to do this deck. It's pretty simplistic when you get down to it. You sit on the tiger, and you just blow stuff up. That's what you're trying to do. It's hard nowadays just because there's so much spot removal, and Imperm is a thing, and boss monsters are easy to turbo out, like Dragoon. It's it's hard for one who sometimes, but when your opponent relies on the little dudes to do things, the one who lock works wonders. So, I hope everybody enjoyed seeing some Wan Hu Lock today. I it certainly worked better than it was working before, so I'm I'm happy for it. So, thanks for watching. Your boy Memphis signing out for now. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content on the way. Next time, we're looking at more decks. I don't know what it is yet, but we're looking at them. We're going to have fun doing it. Screw the new age. We're playing whatever we want to play, damn it. So, thanks for watching. Till next time, y'all stay safe and happy. Take care of yourself and your loved ones, and y'all have a good one.